Good day everyone, this is Hari from Synthesy and I'm just going to give you an overview of how the Synchro to Zero payroll integration works. Here's the nuts and bolts of it. So the average Synchro user's schedule looks something like this. You've got a bunch of jobs, you may have some gaps in between, and you may have various jobs that the person's worked on during the week. Now, at the end of the week, during a pay period, a user can come in, a supervisor can come in and choose activities. And wherever you see these gaps, uh, these gaps essentially mean that the technician was not clocked in or has not filled in his schedule properly. So with these gaps, you can then come in and uh, choose an activity. In this case, I'm just going to choose uh, travel because I know that this person David Boone was traveling between those jobs, so I can go in and, and drop in a travel activity for all of these jobs. What this uh, Simpro to Zero payroll integration allows you to do is to take the data from here, which is from your Simpro account, calculate overtime, normal time, and double time, and leave automatically, and send this time accordingly into zero automatically for payroll. So normally what would be a manual process, taking the time, looking at the start time, looking at the finish time, punching it into an Excel sheet, calculating how much overtime should they be paid and how much of it was working versus not working. Uh, all of that is now simplified. So and you can do that in bulk for a lot of people at once. So let's say for example, Dean Jones is supposed to put uh, an unpaid activity of uh, lunch break. Uh, now, he's supposed to put that every day for half an hour and maybe he's forgotten or he's, he's missed that. I can go in and, and put that lunch break every day quickly in here. And I can automatically make sure that once the lunch time is in, you've got the travel time. And let's say we select the travel time. So because Simpro becomes your source of truth for where your uh, payroll is going to be run from. You need to make sure that Simpro is 100% accurate. And if there are gaps, you can make sure that either those gaps are the times that he's not going to be paid or you've got to put travel or lunch time or whatever the break was accordingly. Uh, the integration will then go in and look for the actual start time and finish time for each of these, each of these activities uh, and jobs, calculate what should be his uh, total paid time in the week, calculate his overtime and we've got settings for all of that so if i go in here in in technicians we've got a rule for technicians that says that if somebody works on a monday to friday for the first eight hours they get paid uh, the normal rate after eight hours they get paid time and a half after uh, 10 hours they get paid double time and you can have you know other rates based on whatever you've got in zero so if you've got different things in zero that are set up for technicians, for apprentices, for uh, staff members, uh, each of those sort of profiles can have their own different kinds of rules uh, so that you can then send them, uh, send their, when you send their time over, you can send it to them uh, differently. You can also then limit the number of hours. So you can, you can go in and say, I don't want to pay them. Let's say you, sometimes some companies have, uh, uh, time off rules or uh, time in lieu rules where you don't pay overtime but you uh, you cap the hours that are paid you can do that limiting over here these rules can also be customized based on the day of the week so monday to friday this is the set of rules that applies if the technician works on a saturday for example where he might get overtime from the word go those rules are different and he might get uh, double time after two hours those rules are different so you can set up rules sort of differently for each profile and for uh, the time of the day and the day of the week that they have worked on. Uh, once these rules, these rules are set up, basically you can also then go in and pair the activities. So if you've got uh, different activities in Simpro, uh, each of those activities can be paired with the corresponding leave type or an earnings rate rule when the time goes into zero. So as you can see, here we've excluded the lunch time which means lunchtime from Simpro will not get sent over to zero. And we've excluded public holidays because they are automatically set up in zero in this case. So we will go back to what we had here, where, where we've got a schedule of time um, for all our uh, team members. So we've got James Bond, and James Bond has got all of these white gaps. So I'm just going to go in, and, and this is a review where I can just go in and put 
travel time for all of these gaps in between. Now, again, it's not mandatory to put that. It's just best practice because then it allows you to get better reporting out of Simpro itself, where you can then look at this and say, what is my productive versus non-productive time in Simpro? So you've got that. Once this is all done, at the end of the week, you can simply come into the integration page, select the employees. So let's select James Bond, Paul Bergman, Alan Border, uh, Bruce Wayne, and David Boone. So let's me select this group of staff members, select the pay period that I'm interested in, 1st of Jan to the 7th of Jan, fetch those timesheets from, uh, from Simpro. So what this will do is this will go into Simpro, fetch the timesheets for these employees from Simpro, and bring them back into Sinkeasy. And these timesheets, as they are brought across, will be brought based on the overtime rules that we reviewed earlier. This takes about a minute or two for um, 10 or so employees. It can, as you can see, it's going pretty quickly and it should be done soon. Uh, this will also allow you to review the timesheet in a list here and send them to Simpro one by one, or if you've got something that needs to be reviewed, you can have it sent back. So it's going to refresh now that it's done the five employees. And here we've got the timesheets for each of those employees. So if I look at James Bond, I can see uh, the total number of hours he's worked. I can see how many hours he's worked. Uh, are there any breaks? Are there any overtime, uh, any overtime that he's done during the week? So if you scroll through, you can just review that for everybody. And uh, you can see here, Alan Border, he's got overtime on a Saturday. That's counted at time and a half and double time because he's got two and a half hours and he's got overtime on Sunday uh, and so on and so forth. You can review all of those times. Once you're happy with all of that, you can simply select everything and say send timesheets to zero. This, this will automatically send the time over to zero where the employee has been paired. Now we can see that we've got one employee that was not paired and that was Alan Border and we can go back into the settings and review that person. Uh, but normally it would basically give you that profile directly in. In this case, Alan Border was set up as a staff member, so he doesn't require timesheets, and that's why his timesheets was not necessarily sent over. If I go into my T-sheets and go into payroll and timesheets, and if you look at James Bond, for example, so if I go in and look at timesheets for the week 1st of January to the correct pay period eight apply filter here we've got the time sheets in here and each of those time sheets will be the same as whatever we have in simpro so whatever has come through from simpro that time has now been split into overtime double time uh, and those hours all add up to the same as what you have in simpro so finally you can make sure that your staff members are getting paid exactly what it says in the simpro schedule uh, these timesheets, as you can see, are in draft status, so you can approve them in bulk together or you can approve them individually. When you approve them individually, these times then go ahead and get applied against the pay template for that user. So what would have normally taken a, a fair bit of manual calculation and entry has now been simplified to simply coming in and approving the timesheets in here. This will also you know, make sure that you can have a uh, different user who has access to Simpro who's approving timesheets and the accounts team are the only ones who have access to Zero to be able to review and manage all of this and the integration can um, sort of serve as the bridge in between. Um, thank you all. That's all we needed to cover today. Cheers.